Greetings there, fellow nature mages, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Mind Over Magic Jade Dragon. Episode 11, Greenhouse. And the greenhouse, believe it or not, is still being worked on. The only one that can work on it is Moxie, because no one else has access to this, because you need to fly to get up here. But, uh, but it is getting done, I promise. I'm just working on more pressing things. Now, I don't think that Guitarlo and Medic, Red Moon, and Hare have an honest chance to be able to go to the Corrupted Lantern through level 8 enemies. I think that's a bit high for them. Um, I think we would need to wait for, like, one of the Fire Mages to get good enough, like Big Brody. Um, so, I'll keep an eye on that, but that, that that's my concern. My concern is that they're just not it's not survivable at present. And I don't really want more negative quirks as a result of death door penalties. So I'm going to take it safe. Are these still shaded? No, it's getting 100% sun. Okay, so I guess it was 13 up, not 12, and I'm bad at counting. Well, a bunch of them just had their great day uh, requirements, which is weird, because your recreation is not full. I don't know how you hit great day. <laughs> Whatever. What is Guitar Loan's negative quirk? No, uh, hates bitter rice meals, which is unfortunate because that's all I serve her. <laughs> Sucks to be you. All right, JD, let's get you fully attuned. We also, this is a good way of farming Nasa shards, because we are, um, getting quite a lot of, uh, levels gained. Alright, I'm gonna have them head through these stone ruins now. Or actually, I'll have you guys pick. What dungeon to do? Uh, fungal, lava, or stone. So there's this is the easiest, the fungal cavern. It leads to curse-bound mages. Uh, the lava mine leads to incendiary crystal and infernal crystal. And then the stone ruins lead to wand transfigurators, ba meaning leveling up your wand. So going these stone ruins uh, potentially allows us to get level two wands. Just, yeah. FYI. Scorpio, you are graduatable. Graduate. Scorpio, do it ASAP because we're massively understaffed. But you got two of your travels done, so that's like not bad. May you become a relic that blesses us. An invigorating trophy. It sucks. I could bind it to Big Brody, I guess, just for it to level up, but I totally don't like it, and I'll probably end up smashing it. How ungrateful do I sound? <laughs> uh, Kellyan's also fully trained. Kellyan has the desire to solo dine and um, sleep in an austere bedroom. I can fulfill both of those trials pretty easily, so I'm going to not graduate him just yet. Uh, in fact, let's have you eat something right now so that you get your solo diner. And then we are going to start clearing out the stone ruins. 
build a greenhouse and get tier two wands. So now I'm only slightly understaffed, so the conviction penalties are, like, far lessened, which is good. Uh, another thing. The... Oh, no, I don't have another mana lantern. Never mind. Or a fan crystal. So, Strigoi... Inflicts Restless. If you get inflicted three times, it causes an insomnia. Uh, and then this mana lantern buffs. But there's only two enemies, so... Let's just try to isolate the Strigoi and knock it out quick. So I'm going to soak it so that it's um, weakened, so it doesn't do so much damage to our tank. Alright, so I only took like 13 damage, that's not so bad. whole bunch of iron there. Uh, before we jump into this next fight, Manic drink the Reju potion, and then we'll just jump into the next fight, bringing the potions that we had with us. So I'll have one fewer regen potions, but that's fine. What does cascading drops? I don't know what you mean. Whatever that is, I don't know what that is. Oh, same exact fight as before. One point a uh, damage off. That's brutal. So close. Consecrating drops, yeah, gives armor to a row of fighters. All right, this is an underscore ward. You need to um, cast dark magic on it once every twenty-four minutes, or it, it refills. Uh, because it's annoying to get to the wards, I like to put ward as emergency for like Moxie. What ends up happening if you don't clear it is it will spawn monsters, but that actually could be a good thing because the act of spawning those monsters um, can give your uh, low-level students something to actually fight uh, later on. So sometimes you want the wards to fulfill and block the path. But what ends up happening is it fogs the room, blocks the path, and then you have to clear it in order to, to progress. How close are you to a tuning? 82? I'll just leave him to do it. Alright, furry mites are dangerous. They attack the front row. Not for a lot of damage, but the worry here is um, that Guitar Lillen is going to get, like, nuked real hard by them with these Lantern Keepers stacking their, uh, their attacks. So I'm going to do a Consecrating Drops. Oh, it's for the whole group. Good. So cons Consecrate the entire group to try to keep Guitar Lillen from getting KO'd in this fight, because this fight's going to do a lot of damage. As you may have noticed. Alright, so there's one mic down.
I should have probably drank a healing potion there. I'll just, uh, consecrate drops again. And armor up. In the bag. Nobody died. Red Moon leveled up to level 7. Alright, to level 5. We're getting pretty close to the uh, Wand Transfigure, but I think they need a bit of a break. I need to replenish my, ma uh, my mana, and they need to heal and regenerate. And I don't want to just keep drinking potions, because at some point you hit, you know, we, we would it, use up everything that we have left. So it wouldn't help. Looking good. And there's a uh, there's stone down here as well to mine, which is nice. We had a limited amount of stone up until recently. I might have to readjust uh, the greenhouse shape and design, but this is the the idea that I have. There's also Gnosis veins down here, which is going to be great for um, for trying to get um, staff and also better students. So the question I have for you guys is: um, Should I? I settle for Big Brody, or try for a gifted fire student. So soon we'll have the Gnosis Shards to potentially have a gifted fire student come in. The reason why Big Brody's really good is even though he isn't gifted, uh, he does, he is um, Raven Cult. So Raven Cult have a base power boost. They're really powerful to begin with. And then also S tier power gain. So, pretty awesome, but if was gifted, could be potentially better. Uh, but it's it's up to you. There is, um, little spoiler, I'll be blue. There is a way to potentially add the gifted trait later on, but it's way later on. Like, so much later on, it might not even be worth mentioning. So Kellyan needs to sleep just a little bit longer in the bedroom to be fully trialed. Skeldor is nowhere even close. I'm probably not even going to attempt it, to be honest. Uh, just because of how far off he is. Soulblader needs to dance and eat in the mess hall. That's just like a matter of time. And Feanor needs to charge things. So speaking of charging things, uh, if I tell no one to charge anything, and then Feanor makes it an emergency, and then go to these mana lanterns and go to charge and charge it 80%. Um, he'll charge constantly. There's a, another way to game this as well, which is I can have Feanor like charge it, withdraw mana from it, charge it, withdraw mana from it, and just like keep doing it as a micromanagement. But I'd rather not have to micro it because it's annoying. Uh, one more minute to vote in the polls here. I, it's very, very close. So if you want to... Uh, if you want to help to resolve that, feel free. Coach Garen, thank you for the reset. Foxy, what are you working on? Oh, you're probably brewing. Brewing and cooking.
Oh boy. Straight up tie, I'll flip a coin. Heads is it will be Big Brody. Tails is it will be a gifted fire mage. Heads, Big Brody it is. All right. So there, a lot of them are becoming fully trained. So I am going to micromanage Feanor, like I said I wouldn't, only so that I can graduate him. And the other thing I'm going to do, if we're keeping Big Brody as a fire apprentice, is to research um, the fire apprentice station. The fire apprentice portal's here. And that's like a lot of research. So Big Brody is going to have a rough time because it's going to be a minute until I get the requirements for that. Okay, so that doesn't count as Skylet. That was what I was afraid of. Um, okay, that's fine. Okay. So this is my greenhouse. Um, the reasoning. I'm going to keep the dangerous plants in here, separate it out, so that nobody can accidentally get harmed by it. And um, maybe I'll just do a ladder. If I did a ladder, I would need the this wall to be over one. I would need it to be built like that. And then move the bit of rice over as well. But yep, still working on a greenhouse. All right, Fanor, let's micromanage you so that you can get graduated. Or any of them for that matter. So stairs are ugly, but these stairs are going to be like outside the school, so they're not, their ugliness won't matter because they're external. Thunderstorm. Oh shoot, I don't have protection. Let's assemble that as fast as possible. I have everywhere else is protected, but not the new uh, greenhouse. And a spectral rift. Oh, to make matters worse. Okay, so clearing the spectral rift, Big Brody is going to replace um, Hare. Let's jump to it. And also a Gloom settles. So a Gloom is a random event, and Fog will advance faster, so we'll have to repel it more frequently. This was an easy fight. I like fights that, you know, we don't end up wounded at the end of them. They're a lot less expensive. Big Brody had a uh, Reaper trial uh, that I kind of forgot about. <laughs> I got at least a third credit on it without even meaning to. I need oh one more weed, warm weed. I might actually wait until it um 
until the fog encroaches a little bit closer, because I'd rather not have to spend wormweed. I'd rather just spend wood and gut berries instead, as it's cheaper. And I have 27 gut berries, so I have plenty. Who had to do the no potion fight? Uh, Skeleton. But I'm not even really attempting on Skelter's trials. Although, because his other trial, I, I have like almost no progress on the other trials, so like, why bother? Just write write that one off. So we got full lightning coverage. In fact, I have like a little bit of double coverage here, so I have some wiggle room. And we'll do a little bit more stone ruins. Um, yeah, we'll do a little bit more stone ruins tomorrow. Kellyan will be able to be graduated, filling up all of the um, all the trials, and then Skeldor. Actually, if I use Skeldor in a fight, uh, really any fight, Skeldor will be able to graduate. The reason Skeldor hasn't graduated is they aren't level three, but they have they're fully trained in um, School of Magics. So I think what I'll do is I'll pick an easier fight, like maybe this Fungal Cavern, and just do the Fungal Cavern in order to get Skeletor to level 3 so I can graduate him. It's an awfully weird greenhouse. So it is Skylit. So as soon as the foundation's done, I'll build a little ladder and then run the ladder up there and uh, and we'll have a, a lovely greenhouse to be able to tend plants and protect it from uh, weather conditions. And also grow like the things we need most. That's a big one. So Kel, you're done. Let's graduate you. And as soon as the graduation is done, we'll clear a little more dungeons. So he dropped Kellyan's fleet trophy. Let's look at that. HP and speed, uh, only can be attuned to Hare, and we're not keeping Hare, so I'm not going to bother with that. Skaldor, let's get you to max level by throwing you in combat. And then, you guys wanted a greenhouse, so let's actually do a greenhouse. So, I'm going to do Gutberry Planners. Um, I will put them here, three of them. Ice flowers. Six. And then we'll start to unlock other plant types to put them in there as well. And then I also need the ladder to be able to get the hell up there. Uh, and then... Actually, that won't work, will it? Uh, let's put... Support column. It looks so wonk. But you know, we have chaotic architecture style, so I'm just leaning into it. Alright, let's kill the fuzzy mite quick. The fernling, rather. So the fernling attacks front row and heals itself, which is really annoying. But I probably will be able to kill it before it even takes a, a turn, which is awesome. Burn it! Oh, 36 damage, 36 health. It was fate. Dead little fernling.
Fight's over. Easy peasy. Skeldor still isn't max level. Uh, that pains me. So let's just keep going. Refill mana and just go a little bit further in the fungal cavern just to hit max level. So we can graduate him. You always grit crits when you don't need them? Well, I didn't. That wasn't a crit. I was just 36 damage base. Ew, a bunch of drowned ones. Okay. Uh, gross. This might hurt. Please crit. Yeah! Alright. This one crit. You should be level three. Good. And we got a cursed initiate. Uh, a cursed student. So they are a fire initiate. What's interesting about them is they have a max fire skill of four, whereas Brody has a max skill of three. Oh, because they have a fire one level two. That's why. Uh... A tier power grade, C tier mana. Yeah, you're not worth keeping because of that uh, that C tier mana. But we'll free you and raffle you off. So that's uh, the end of the fungal caverns. This is as far as you could go. So we clear the caverns, the fungal caverns for the cursed student. Uh, austere bedroom. Cool. Let's give you this one, I guess. What else do you have? Mess hall, group diner. And I have six students. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. Yeah, so that's easy to do. And sleep focuser. Eh, shouldn't be too hard to do all the trials. So good luck. Good luck with Victoria. They're not terrible. I just think Big Brody's better. That's all. So they're freed. Alright, the next big task is to go to the end of the stone ruins to get the one transfigure. Um, I'll probably... Well, I, wanna, I wanted to graduate, uh... Skeldor? You know... No, no, I'm not gonna be able to do that. So let's graduate Skeldor now, too. We have plenty of students for the group dining without keeping them. You hate using Shatter for fighting? I actually rather like it. Or rather, I don't mind it. So what did we get? We got a Skeldor's Stalwart Record. Max mana and HP? Mm, all right. But I can give it to Matic. So that matters. That's helpful. Tuning something new to Matic that he didn't have before. Big Brody has a fire relic to attune to. And then JD has an earth... Oh! Yeah, um... I'd rather have that on Matic. Usually get your shattered killed. Uh, if you don't want to kill your Shattered, there's always, um, there's always, uh, relics that you can have to increase their max HP considerably, which keeps them alive. So Big Brody, we wanted as a Fire Apprentice. Um, 
So we are now getting the research for that. We did, we did just get the Nature Apprentice um, Shrine, but I don't think that's actually going to be necessary because Hare has been leveling up her nature by mining? I think she's been leveling up her nature by harvesting. So actually what I'll do to level up Hare is tell her to chop, tend, and harvest. As a high priority? And I'll just have her, like, do a ton of farm work to get her up, rather than to build the Nature Apprentice Shrine. Probably best bang for the buck. Fanor is already two-thirds done with Charger. JD doesn't have any rested learning, which is weird. Like, how have you not slept and been taught stuff? I'm so confused. JD and Big Brody want to share bedrooms together. Hey, that's good, because I'm keeping both of them. Fog encroached. So, this Repel Fog, I'm going to use Victoria. Victoria has a level 2 Fire Wand, so she's better at repelling fog than anyone else. Meaning... Oh, actually, Victoria, you're going to get it... The raffle time is frozen. That's what's going on. I was like, what? why hasn't the raffle triggered? Okay, so uh, raffle eligibility reset again. Sorry, the raffle timer broke. And let's see. I think we revealed some interesting crystals. The smoky one here has a big rug. So Moxie, go for it. I find it hilarious that most of the students don't sleep on their beds correctly. I'll deal with the spectral rift uh, in the morning when they're actually up. A large visionary. That's good for a library. Or a... Uh... Oh, hey! Greenhouse is done. Because we have enough planners in there now. So here's the lovely greenhouse. In all of its glory. Uh, I'm going to have you guys vote on a next project. Advanced classroom, library, infirmary, private dining room, bedrooms, or house office. What you think? Well, yeah, that looks nice. I mean, we haven't tended anything in there because the ladder's not even built yet. But, you know, it'll, it will be built eventually. So I think this is a good opportunity for JD to get his Potion Purist. Because this uh, Spectral Rift fight isn't particularly difficult. So the easier fights are good ones to have him get his Potion Purist progress. That's a tongue twister. Potion Purist, one out of two. Who has relics yet to be attuned? So Maddox got his stalwart record. Oh, the Bobble of the Gourmet, uh, I am going to smash. So I'm having him switch to the Resolute plaything, and the Bobble of the Gourmet, which he was leveling up just to smash, gets pulverized for 34 shards. That's a pretty good amount of shards. I right now have 74, so I have a lot of shards. 
only because I've been training up so many students, but, you know, uh, that was worth it. Uh, Red Moon. You have nothing to attune. And I like your relics, so I'm not going to smash them. Hare. You're attuned to both. Brody, you still have a tuning to do. Alright, one more minute to vote in the, uh, what to build next. Banor is almost done with the charging um, 13 out of 15, so that will be done pretty soon. And then for JD, JD just needs to uh, get, enter like one battle. So maybe JD, you'll come to the lava mine over here and do another potion purist battle. While everyone else dances the night away. Did I replant the bitter rice? Not yet. Right, we're gonna make a library. Got it. Ouch. And Victoria's new name is... Tannering. JD, you are now max level. Awesome. That means you can specialize. Alright, so JD, you are going to be a Dark Apprentice. Thank you for the reminder about the bitter rice. I would have ignored that until I was like starving to death. So let's get the bitter rice plots in. And I'm going to raise the priority of the bitter rice plots and the ladder like really, really high because I'm kind of getting kind of tired of it not being built. I think really what it is is just I need Moxie to be not busy. I'm very happy that JD became like a meta, a meta mage. Oh, another Corrupted Lantern. Okay. I don't think that their convictions stack, though. No, they don't. So, no rush. I get there when I get there. Not a big deal. So JD is now a uh, dual cast of Dark and Nature, but has Dark 4, uh, uh, which is different than Hare's Dark or 3. Big difference there. The other thing I'd like to do is I no longer need the Water Apprentice uh, Fountain, so I'm going to shrink it, and I'm going to put a Nature one in there instead, because that will help Hare graduate. But she's just hasn't had anywhere to train. So Hare has been leveling up her Nature magic by casting, by like harvesting and stuff. But if I had a, um, if I had a, a an Apprentice station for her, it, that would be done a lot sooner. Which is, you know won't drive her insane. All right, so build. Teaching. Nature Apprentice Tree needs Mandrake Root. Okay. I'm getting it now. And I didn't destroy that old one, so we can just unshrink it whenever I want it. Uh, Matic is the only one that needs to attune. Okay, I'll have him do that now. And your name. Or I forget. Now, it might be worth having Tannering also become a, um, a fire apprentice. Not because I intend to keep them, but because they have a level 2 Fire Wand, and they're gifted. Um, 
it could potentially make a really powerful relic. And Feanor's done. So let's graduate Feanor. All right, updating the priority. Build a library and get tier two wands. So Feanor dropped a damp rut sack. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> Thanks. Great. Uh, it's actually kind of nice. It levels... It adds to water skill level cap. And if bound to Red Moon Feathers, it would bring her water level... Up... Uh, only one. So, with that in mind, it's worth it. Maybe? No. It would level up Soak, but not Torrent. And Torrent is the damage dealer. So I, I think I'm not going to do it. Because Torrent is her spamming ma magic that she casts often. If she had a, a water wand level 2 plus that relic, maybe it'd be worth it. But the relic alone, no. Because it doesn't give her access to anything special. Thank you for tuning in to Mind Over Magic, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 15th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow mages, 